Hi, good evening, or is it good morning, or should I say good afternoon, from London, England to the rest of the world. Um, this evening, this is not a football content, this is um, some tragic news that has broken to all of us football but Arsenal fans all over the world and that is the passing away of um, Claude Car Allegri um, this is a tragic um, death that's him hit us all <coughs> and for me um I am deeply godsmacked at the passing away of um, Claude. I just can't believe he's gone. I really can't believe he has passed away. He was, to me, a true gentleman, a heart of gold. A genuine, genuine nice man. Also, a long, die-hard, passionate Arsenal fan. And um, he's his memories will last with me forever and forevermore. Um, when I've heard of this news, I was so shocked and upset. And, um, well, his time on AFTV was um, a gifted joy to myself, even being at the Chapman waiting for Robbie Lyle, the presenter, with him and every other AFTV regular. And um, at this such tragic time, it's only right for it's only right for non-family members to leave Claude to rest in peace and um, respect um, his family's wishes on how they would like to grieve over Claude. Now, Claude for me. In 2013, my first viewing of him was um, the football match that um, Arsenal lost the opening game of the season that year to Aston Villa. And Claude asked the question, why didn't we sign Higuain? But on, the, uh, on more viewings, I realised he was a really funny man. He had me chuckling. Oh, so so I um, can't even speak right now. He had me chuckling, you know, and the things that he said. Arsenal were humiliated away to Manchester City in another football match, and um, he told Robbie how we defended like the dog and duck, dog and duck pub, and every word he spoke, he was not wrong. He was not wrong. He was always saying it as it is, and. Um, you don't get many um, football fans who tell it how it is, the way Claude did, and um, he'll say it how it is, and and he'll say something that will make you laugh because it's not all doom and gloom with Claude. Claude was a realist, but a realist for the right reasons for me. He was uh, he's he only said what he had to say because. He had to say what he had to say based on constructive criticism of um, his football team. That's the beloved Arsenal. It's for the simple fact. This it's for the simple fact is. Sorry, it's for the simple fact that he cared about Arsenal Football Club as a whole. Um, his good friend Ty. Um, 
I'm sure he would be extremely devastated like the rest of us. Um, his memory, um, I mean, the, my memory of him and Ty, the shows they did together, um, the clash away from West Ham stood out for me because that's when those four words were born. It's time to go. At the time, uh, Monsieur Wenger was the manager. The results were not... F um, the results were not meeting the criteria and matching our ambition. And um, we needed a change of direction. And Claude was very focal and direct about <clears throat> the management situation at the time. And... He knew exactly what he was talking about. He spoke every word truly, you know. And if, oh, it's hard to um, explain in words what Claude felt about Mr. Wenger at the time. But he felt that we needed a change in direction. And... We got there in the end. <clears throat> I mean, for many so years, Claude was a massive, um, a massive, um, icon on Arsenal fan TV. I've met the guy myself, I've greeted him, we've had a wee chat. <coughs> and I remember, um, Talking to him outside Silas Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club, where Arsenal won the league fixture 3 2. And um, no, we lost 3 0. And I remember talking to him and Absol, and we had an honest football conversation all about the Arsenal because we lost with a lot of shame. But we And we decided to walk um, up towards the train station and have a good. Um, Conversation. He was walking towards Norwood Junction Station, and I was walking in the other direction. Excuse me. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we spoke um, honest. We gave our honest reviews on the Arsenal and where the where the um, football team was going in a direction and what direction it was taking because it wasn't taking the the direction that we want the football team to be at or the club and the management as well and we spoke very strongly about it you know me also and Claude um well one thing I will say about Claude is he said what he meant, and he meant what he said. And that's a true remark of the man. He's been a husband. He's been a father. He's been a grandparent. And um, he's going to be massively missed amongst his friends and his family. So I've said what I've had to say about Claude. Um... Mr. Claude uh, Carl, uh, Al Carl Gallegri, if I've pronounced your surname wrong, then I apologise sincerely. I would want you to be happy, be strong while you're up there. But the main thing is you rest in peace. And um, I miss you so much. I personally miss you. This is... For me, DLG repping. You'll be missed by me. And uh, I would have loved to um, have spoken to you about the Arsenal of yesteryears in person. Just an honest, decent you know, um, football conversation with you. Otherwise, um, our faults and prayers and condolences goes out to you, your friends and your family at such a tragic, difficult time. Um, 
I'm out of here. And um, I'll speak to you um, in due course. Once again, rest in peace, Claude Allegri. I mean, Carla Allegri.